720, no, make it 735 here, Big 550 KTRS. Kathy Helbig from the Kathy Helbig Group. You see her on Channel 5. She's their real estate guru. She joins us uh, once a week to give us a little helpful hints in uh, real estate. KathyHelbigGroup.com. Good morning, Kathy Helbig. Good morning. Lease purchase. What does yes, that mean? Sir. Lease purchase is another creative option for buyers or sellers that have some reason that they can't do a purchase immediately on a property that they want. Okay. So there's a variety of reasons. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is obviously you can't get a loan, but that's not always the situation. So we run across people sometimes that are in a temporary stay. Uh, for instance, they're in the middle of a divorce right. and they can't go buy another property until the divorce is settled, but they need to get out of the house. So a lease option might be a good alternative for them if you can get the seller to work with you. And the way that works is you typically put up a, an amount of option money, which doesn't have to be big because you need down payment money for your loan as well, but option money. And then you negotiate a lease for a certain amount of time. Most cases, it's anywhere from three months to three years. The, right. the average is about a year, but sometimes in like a divorce situation, you're only looking at three to six months. Right. And they're leasing the property, but they already negotiate the contract ahead of time. So they do their inspections, they do everything they need to do except for the financing part, because that's what they can't do because of the divorce. They go ahead and move into the house, they pay the seller a lease payment that is agreed upon ahead of time. And then at the end of the term, they move forward with the closing on the property. Let's say they can't close at the end of the term. <clears throat> they can't close at the end of the term based on whatever their contingencies were. Then they're either free and clear or they're on the hook with the seller to, right. you know. The Seems like a whole lot of effort, <laughs> but people, sellers are apt to do this? Yeah, I mean, if you put a house on the market for two days and you walk in and say, can I give you a lease purchase, they're probably not going to do it. Right. But there's situations where there's some houses that just haven't moved or the seller <clears throat> feels comfortable with the financing and, and the situation. A lot of times if you just ask a bunch of questions and get comfortable with why they need a lease purchase, you can deal with it and, and they'll work out. Now, when it's financing issues, that's kind of a little bit of a different story. So you really need to do your due diligence on those buyers right. and make sure that they are are going to be able to get credit repair, maybe be in a credit repair program during the time of that lease. And the thing is, you're incentivizing the buyer to close because a portion of that lease payment, you're typically going to rebate back to them at closing. So you might charge a prime lease payment during that period and then maybe credit 500 of that back at closing if they perform. You really need to be buttoned up because you know I could certainly see somebody coming in telling you a whole bill of goods. Absolutely. And having none of it be Absolutely. true. Absolutely. We've got to do our research and do the due diligence and you know sometimes on the financing ones we go into it with hey guys this is this is a lease and if it closes it's a bonus. Right. Instead mm -hmm. of counting on the other way how around. Many, how many times does this happen? It's, yeah. it's happened a lot, especially when the real estate crash right. came along. We did them all the time. You're not seeing as many of them now. It's more under certain circumstances. But a lot of short-term credit repair where they're just not quite there. Mm -hmm. And if we can get them hooked up with our people that are doing the, the credit repair, then right. you know, a lot of times we can close those. So, so they sign like official paperwork and everything. We do a whole contract with a lease writer that goes along with it. And, mm. and so it's like you're renting the place, but you have a rent, you rent, but then you're going to buy it at the end of the to close at the end at the end Correct. of the three six months a year uh -huh. lease or whatever exactly and I, i'm sure that you really have to be careful you want to go through um someone like you yes. a reputable real estate yes a realtor because you see sometimes those commercials or ads you know rent to own right where you the buyer and the seller can really lose out exactly and we don't want anybody unhappy at the end of it we're trying to get two parties and work together to come to a common goal and we do you know do do the research on both sides and make sure that a lot of times people went into lease purchases and had all these contingencies that were built in towards the end of the lease purchase and that's a that's a bad deal for a seller you so, want to get all those off the table before they even move into that house so if you're a seller and and this might be an option for you you certainly want to raise your hand and say hey i'm i'll be happy to look at a lease absolutely we can option. we can market a property for sale or for lease purchase and yeah. it opens up a whole new crowd kathy helbig group is with us some interesting stuff uh, this morning uh kathy helbig group.com 314-276 sold 17 years in the business co-owner of keller williams realty west and your app still going strong app is going great download, download it, it. download Apple it. Store and Google Play. Kathy Sim Helbig Group. Simple as that. Yep. Uh, Kathy Helbig Group. Have a good day. Thank you. You got it. We'll check uh, traffic, weather, sports.